Hello everyone, welcome back. It's another day of the chess grind. Playing is black, let's see what we can do. Standard openings so far. Nothing weird. Uh, I've played some strong opponents in the last few games, in the last two days. Uh, okay, so there's a potential for this. So if I remember correctly, the response to the f7 attack is develop the bishop and then i want to say kick or pushing the pawn is the or uh, moving the knight to f6 is the wrong move i'm trying to remember exactly what it is does it push the center open It's not here. I always forget what the correct response to this is. I think it's maybe queen e7. I need to memorize the response, uh, correct response to this as black because I find myself in this position a lot. Um, maybe it's trade the knights here at this point. Since I have basically two attackers on d4 the uh c5 bishop is protected there by the queen i think i'll go for the trade here his knight's not actively attacking anything okay so he's attacking the queen which is fine i think i'm forced to jump back to d8 uh, he just blocked in his uh, bishop as well. Yeah, I know he's looking for the fork there on c7. I think he'll almost be forced to trade here. I'm wondering if... Well, well, I guess, I guess we'll see what he does. Okay, this is bad. I think I was in this exact same position a couple games ago. And what was the move? What was the move? I'm trying to remember. I could do this. I could go for this trade here. I vaguely remember that the pushing the pawn was not the correct play here. There's this attack as well. F7's pretty weak right now. That would be pretty bad. Um, let's see. What to do? I think I'll just develop. I don't know if this is the correct move, but I think it's just a move. So that pawn wasn't protected. Okay. Now I believe I can just go for the trade here. I could also kick his knight. I think developing is the play. I have to be mindful of his uh, bishop here as well. I could have maybe played b5 with the pawn. Uh, I see. Um, let's see. I think b7 
protecting B7 is more important right now. Since uh, E7 and C7 are protected by any of these jumps. Also, F6 is protected by the queen. Do you have the trade here? If he goes for the trade, I can take his bishop. This is protected, so I'm not too worried about it at the moment. I suppose I can kick this knight here. I know I have stacked pawns, but I can stack his pawns if he moves his knight and then I take his bishop. I'm down a piece. I'm down a pawn, so I'm not crazy about doing trades at the moment, but I think it's okay. <laughs> I'd really like to um, get my knight out and then just develop too. Or not develop, uh, excuse me, castle. He may have to run to c3 or e3 with his knight, possibly f4. Yeah. He does have a good setup with this queen, but I don't think there's a reason not to take that. So if his queen goes to h5, I have to remember to keep this protected. Oh, I guess the pawn is protecting it, never mind. This pawn is hanging here. Actually, oh well, no. I do have check, but he takes, I was thinking about taking his queen, but obviously it's defended. So that won't work. Um, I think just castling is going to be the play. This pawn's hanging here on c5. Trinidad. That's cool. Okay. What am I gaining by going here? I think I'm kind of forced to move here. Okay. Hmm. This is kind of a cool... No, it's not. Queen's protecting that. Let's see, I can't go after his queen. I think I have to castle here. Okay, so he's looking for checkmate. How do I make sure not to lose here? I would defend, but f5 is not. Uh, I'm thinking about defending g7 with f5, but then he just takes for free. So this queen's not threatening anything on my back rank at the moment. Let's see. I think this protects g7, then he gets a free knight. g4, 
is protected by the bishop. I do always have check, but that just gives away a knight for free as well. Maybe I'm, I move the king. No, even that's bad. I think g6 is my only play. He jumps his knight to f6. I have to move over. I guess I could trade, huh? I think this is my only move. Maybe I miscalculated that, but... I'll probably just talk a little bit less and make some faster moves at this point. I'm like four minutes down. My g6 pawn is pinned here at the moment, so I have to keep that in mind too. He does have a free knight here. I don't know if he realizes that or not. I think his best move is... Oh, sure. Okay, he did that. Um... Okay. Can I attack his queen? Maybe I just offer the queen trade higher. Do have check, but his queen just takes. That's pinned. I still think he should just take the knight. Making progress. Okay, so I can capture the knight, but I think that's kind of a death wish at this point. So, um, let's see, this is protected. If I take the pawn, that's not protected. Um, I still don't really have a fork. What can I do? That's bad, this is bad. Nice move by him. Yeah, nice move. Be surprised if he doesn't go for that. Okay, I have to play much faster here. Okay, kind of expected that. This was going to be my follow up move. Okay. Seems like the reasonable thing to do.
What would you guys do here? Maybe these pawns don't matter so much anymore, huh? I don't know if that's the right move to open up the protection on the king like that, but it just seemed like an idea, so I did get a free pawn out of it, unless I miss something. This is going to be really hard to win with 17 seconds. I think I just shut up for the rest of the round. Probably the play. I don't think there's any winning this one. He's got eyeballs on my horse. Okay. Yeah, GG. GG, GG. Opponent played pretty well there. Let's do the game review. I think when he had his uh, knights here on, uh, what was it, e5 and d5, I think that's when I made some wrong moves. I mean, I didn't make any blunders, which I'm happy about. I didn't have any misses, which I was happy about. I just wasn't making the best moves, and he was making great moves. Okay, book move, book move, book move. So, let me see something. So, engine wants this, and that's fine. But can't he do this? And then this, that's what I was worried about. Um, that's why I was not really doing anything to his knight on my king side. Um, I think I always forget what to do in this position. Um, maybe just pushing a pawn down the middle was the play. But I was trying to protect f7. That was kind of my goal here. Okay, so this is a good move. You activate your queen by moving it from the starting square, okay. And so really I should have just matched his position here. Um, okay. So I guess this is where it kind of fell apart and he gains the big advantage. This wins material. I'll move the queen up. Hmm. In case he goes here. Huh. You're threatening to win a knight. Okay. I really thought he was just going to go for the trade there, but... Interesting. So attack the bishop instead. Is that because basically f7, e7, d7, and c7 are protected? So kind of just try to kick his active threat since a b5 is protected by the knight? I thought this was a decent move. Hmm. Engine wanted him to take the pawn. Okay. Yeah, I remember I mentioned that um, b5 was a potential good move. But it looks like I should have played that sooner. I kind of failed to recognize that my bishop was under attack here. I think I should have... Well, I didn't actually have a... Uh, looks like I had no escape. I kind of blocked it in. After all captures, this is an equal trade. Good idea to capture back. Yeah, so... Hmm. So 
the developing a pawn there was bad, but really I should have just developed a piece. A knight to e7? Okay. You kick the opposing pawn, uh, opposing knight away with a pawn, forcing it away. Yep. You're forcing your opponent to double pawns. Okay, that, that was good. Activate a knight. Hmm. Yeah, I think this was probably my worst move, if I had to pick one. Um, the reason being is because I had no way to defend e4 there, besides maybe the pawn, um, or, yeah, or not even that. Um, Yeah, moving to e4 was just a bad move because um, it puts the knight on a hanging hanging square. It feels a little bit unnatural to want to jump the knight back to d7 and like block the queen in. Um, so that's why that move would be kind of weird for me. But uh, I guess it makes sense because it puts the knight on a defended square at least. So... I wonder what the difference in advantage would have been here. Okay. So I gained just a very slight edge there if I move back. So that was a miss. This overlooks an opportunity to kick a knight. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh, so offer the queen trade. I thought about the queen trade at some point, but maybe I should have just done that earlier since this was such a big threat. I feel like this is how I lose a lot of games when the opponents get like two or three pieces uh, in front of my king castle, and then it all just kind of falls apart. My pieces are over here in the middle. It's like a common theme I'm noticing in my games. You overlooked an opportunity to block an attack with a vulnerable pawn. You allowed the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a piece. Hmm. I mean, couldn't he just move to g7 on his next move? Just threatens to play checkmate. Yep, that's what I figured. I thought this was the only move, so it looks like this was the best move. So that's good at least. Inaccuracy. This allows the opponent to counterattack an opposing queen. Hmm. Looks like I made that pawn move. It was just like four moves too late. I'm never quite sure if I should start pushing um, the three pawns in front of the king in these types of positions, or if it's better just to keep them kind of blocked in. But uh, yeah, I guess that would have made sense because uh, moving the pawn to f5 there, because it would have defended the knight and attacked the queen at the same time. And then he had no other attackers on f5. So yeah, I can see how the pawn push there would have been the play. So let's see. And then plus he would only win a rook there if he decided to capture, which I don't think he would. Yeah, I mean, he wouldn't play this move. Okay. Well, I think we know how this fell apart. I don't want to go too far into this game review, but um, yeah, so really the big mistake there was moving the knight to e4, which is an undefended square. And then when he was actively attacking it, not defending it. I think there would have been some hope in this position. I was really hoping to get some kind of fork going here at some point, but it just never really panned out. Uh, and that's okay. But uh, the op opponent played pretty well. He had. Um, uh, two great moves, eight best moves, and he had a pretty good accuracy, so hats off to him. Uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next game.